kid. Daniel Durst is the worst. 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 Durst the worst, bitch. Durst the worst, bitch. Durst the worst, bitch. Yeah, so what do you want to know? Like, what will the apocalypse look like? Or like, what did you call it? The... The, the, well, so that's judgment thing. day, that's what yeah. you called it. No, on the day of judgment, yeah. Because, so, there's a time where God will judge the earth, right? right. That's in Revelation, right? The Bible says that Jesus is going to come, that all, all eyes are going to see him, every eye will see him, and that he's going to come with all the heavenly hosts and that he's going to destroy the world. That will be like after all the tribulation, the trials of tribulation, after God had brought so many prophets to the earth and he's already tried to communicate the gospel and try to save as many people as he could. Um, as he desired to and that all those who still saw him and they still walked in unbelief that for seven years God is gonna like beat up the earth he's gonna kill like a crazy amount of people and then eventually he's gonna come and he's gonna he's gonna just wipe away the earth with all the demons and all this all the human beings who rebelled against him and it's gonna be a glorious victory the Bible says I know Luciferians don't believe that, but they're so in for he's gonna, like, they're in genocide. surprise. He's going to come and genocide a bunch of people, and it's going to be glorious. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the Creator will judge His creation, because oh. although He died for them, He came in the likeness of them, walking in their own human flesh, lived a perfect life we couldn't live. To die a perfect death, you and I should have died. And that those who knew that message, the Bible says that every ear will hear, everyone will have heard the gospel, and that in that time, that still people will still walk in their unbelief, they will still sin against God, their hearts will be so, so uh, adamantly opposed to, to, to following Christ and to submitting to God, that they will, even when seeing God, they will still rebel against them, and that is, um, that is amazing. So, so that's the thing, our hearts right now are in such darkness, but it's going to get darker and darker as the days go by. So like, why why protest against the abortion if God is going to just kill us all anyway? Well, because, okay, so here's the thing. So is like, he going to kill like only the wicked, I guess? Is that, and is he's going to like leave the righteous people to go to heaven? Is that how it works? No, this is the amazing thing. Is that how like... <laughs> this is the amazing thing, okay? The Bible says that no one is righteous. Right. I think like I everyone what, is wicked. what I remember from uh, my Catholic days anyway yeah. was when like if you redeem yourself in the eyes of God then you will end up uh, in the promised land I guess the paradise the the oh no no see that's the thing like Catholics have it all wrong uh, and I think and, a lot of them have it a lot wrong yeah uh, yeah I mean and this is the thing is we need the Bible to be our authority and that's kind of the conversation that you walked in on with me and George like, I was just interested in like the judgment day and how like the world's gonna end. Like, is is God gonna just like cut the earth in twain with like a big no. lightning bolt, no. trident sort of like earthquake thing? Or no, no nothing. No, it won't be. It won't be like that. He he, he will come with a sword. Would you like? Uh, sure, dude. He will come with a sword. Is my breath is my breath kicking? Is that what you're trying to tell? I'm, oh, I'm saying if you want one. Yeah. So, dude, there's good. I mean, there's a. Uh, an atheist conference happening at the PAPS. That's Is there? Where, yeah, MythCon. That's what I'm. Well, I mean, they're mainly talking about politics and social issues, but I'm sure that some theistic conversations would happen. Cool. So, I don't know. That's where I'm headed. Oh, where? Uh, in the PAPS theater? Yeah, I mean, it's like until 9 p.m. It's going all day. Wow. Sounds like fun. But yeah, man. So. Is he gonna like disease everybody or like how, with a sword? You said God's gonna come through with a sword and kill everybody. Yeah. yeah like no, how? No, no, no. Okay, so so is it I, like Santa Claus? Like he'll be able to do do it like just once fell swoop in a night, like the way Santa Claus that's does hilarious. it. Hilarious. Yeah. Uh, no. Like no. That's hilarious though. Like Santa Claus. Yeah. So here's the thing. I mean, so so the, the Bible says that. Yeah. The Bible says that when Jesus comes, that he comes like a thief in the night. Right. No one's right. gonna see him. Right, 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 right. So maybe like Santa Claus. I, I don't know about the myth. That's of Santa sort of Claus. what that's sort of what Santa Claus did does. Like he's does sort it? of like yeah. Oh, in really? one night, you know. I mean, we all know. In one night, he goes through the entire world giving presents to. I know it's amazing. Everybody. So God would be kind of doing the same thing. Well, in the sense that he'll but with come, death, he'll come like a thief in the night. I just, which is, I don't know if that's your quoting or something you've heard, but the Bible says he'll oh, come like a thief in the night, which means no one will be ready. Oh right? damn! A thief comes at the opportune time when he knows no one is going to be ready right no one's going to be able to stand up to him why so he can come in and do what he's going to do and no one can resist him right <laughs> right yeah right i so, mean i mean not like santa claus no one can like resist god. well no one can resist either christmas cookies and presents or getting killed by god with a sword in the night uh 
Yeah, no one can resist either. That's right. Those cookies, man. That milk. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I like, smoke weed too. So. Uh, I yeah, the, no. I know the urge. I don't, well, I would prefer to be able to like go to a spot and get like balms or edibles or like, you know, I don't want to smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a whole other. Yeah, edibles and stuff, yeah. That's. Fresh Krispies and mocha, mocha shakes that, and stuff. That is probably one of the better, or like a piece <laughs> of chocolate, you know. Sure. So, so yeah, man, just to answer your question, like, everybody knows that we're guilty. Right. All right, our conscience is 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 a part of us okay literally conscience means with <coughs> knowledge right con science oh yeah, yeah yeah everything we do we do it with knowledge that it's good or it's evil so like human beings are we're not beasts right we're not beasts we are something far far more advanced some are beastly beast. some human totally. beings can get beastly with totally it. yeah yeah and beast mode yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. no i do and we have great capacity for strength and and to do amazing things and just you know be all kinds of uh, of, of extravagant like i believe i believe humans are capable of good i that's that's a belief that i hold i mean i don't believe in like ethereal omnipresent like you know celestial beings or anything like god or anything like that but i do have beliefs and i do believe that humans are capable of good but i also believe they're capable of shitty things yeah. so how are you, you know? defining well, before I before we define good and evil, it's essential. To it's question, vague. I mean, it's, how do we it's, know? It's wishy washy what good and evil can mean, depending on the situation, isn't it? You know. No, well, that's the thing, right? It's like, it's, it's like so innocent Jews were were taken from houses and they right. were put into internment camps. They were starved. My ancestors, okay. Right. And then here we have a building where women who, after living a sexually promiscuous lifestyle or something horrible happens to them, they make a choice to go and to put that baby to death. Right. Yeah. So my question to you is, ethics, is it like a compass? Is it like, is it like no matter- I have which, no idea. Which, which way we turn, it's always gonna be true north, right? There is always the right thing to do, but we always wanna veer away from it. Or is it like a clock, where it just depending on the, on the age and the era, that we're always determining- It's like a spectrum, I guess. Right. It's like a gradient sort of thing. But how do we account for this knowledge? Uh, just, I guess our own intuition, like like what I would not want to happen to me, is how I more or less structure like a moral system. You know what I mean? Like if I like I obviously would not want to be run over by a car, so I I in turn would not want to run over somebody else with a car. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's sort of like a empath empathetic. Uh, do unto others as you would have done unto you. The golden rule, which does predate Christianity. I mean, I'm not I'm not like a theologian or any or historian or anything, but I know that. But uh, yeah, the golden rule sort of thing. Like that's that's how that that would be like a good moral structure. I'm really distracted by all of the stimuli around oh, you here. Want to turn no, I mean it's like it's it's funny. Like yeah, I probably shouldn't have blazed before I left the house though. Yeah, that that does play a role, doesn't it? I definitely, it, it, it sparks these sort of like deep conversations though. Yeah, well just know this man, like in your spirit. Yeah. Like you have is a spirit. Even, is this even getting y'all? I don't even know. Like, you have a spirit, okay? You have yeah. a soul. Now I didn't know I had a soul my entire life. I did what my parents told me to do. Both my parents are ex-cocaine addicts. Oh, uh, bummer yeah, dude. Both my parents are, are sex addicts. Like I live, uh -huh. I, grew, I grew up in California. So my whole life, my whole experience has been telling me to like get as much sex as you can, right? Like smoke weed, like party, <laughs> like be the man, right? Like like get that girl's attention, get that girl's affection, you know, like be be a player, be a jock, be all kinds of things. Right. And the crazy thing is I succeeded. <laughs> I succeeded at everything that I wanted and still I wanted to kill myself. Right, yeah, a lot of that's a lot of those pursuits are sort of hollow a little oh, bit. No. Ladies, why are you here? Because this is our job. That's why. I don't care. I'm a neutral. I'm neutral here. I don't know. Y'all to pay us, then. No, Miss Miss Daisy. I'm neutral, yo. People. So we still parents at the end of the day. So why are you recording though? Because it's. Why are you here? I'm here because I want to. People to record other people. I want to dissuade. I want to dissuade women not to kill their children. Why are you guys here? But wait a minute. You were just repping the house. You were just repping like God was gonna cut people with a sword, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that okay, but because not? God, because God is God. We can't say God. <laughs> well, that's God. appeal to authority, man. Yeah, it is an appeal to authority. God is the highest authority. Therefore, he. Well, can that's do... a fallacy, he though. Created that's, us. that's a logical God fallacy. Created us. 
He is creator, not creation. It's not how is that a fallacy? Because it doesn't follow that because he created us, he can just morally destroy us. Says who? That's well that doesn't follow logically. It's not says who though? Is that your phone? If I destroy your phone, am I wrong for that? Yeah, if you destroy your phone, are you wrong for that? It's your property. It's already kind of cracked. Actually, uh, a, communi- can you my question, a communist, a communist in question? Berkeley destroyed it already. Can you just answer my question, though? I don't know. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Well, the logic. You were asking about a Berkeley thing. Many Berkeley things, yeah. Bro, the logic is what I'm saying. The logic is, it's your property. Therefore, you can do with it what you want. So human beings are the property of God. Human beings are property. Wow. So what, yeah, what, what organization or what movement were you there with? Oh, uh, just independently. In fact, I'll give you one of these. It's my cod. In fact, I'd like so, to give you one, so too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you might have seen some of the vids from Berkeley. Yeah, I was out there. It was pretty nuts uh, both times. Can you answer my question, though? Uh, property and humans are... Humans are above property, in my opinion. So what's your uh, political bent? I don't know. I'm kind of becoming more conservative lately, but still kind of... It depends on the issue. But if a communist smashed your phone, they must see you as pretty right-wing. Compared to them, yeah, for sure. Like, oh, they're, I mean, they're Berkeley fruit bars. They're going to be as far left as humanly possible. So, like, anyone to them is, you know, Hitler and Mussolini combined. Okay. You know? Wait, so so you're willing to say that there's a distinction between property and people. How do you account for people having higher value or being even separated from property? I don't know. It's just my opinion. It's my moral opinion, I guess. Right. I'm asking, how do you account for it? Where are you getting it from? <laughs> I have no idea. So, so, just my own, my own intuition, my own critical thinking skills. Has there been any time in history, maybe American history, where we have said that humans are not property? We have very recently in America, I guess historically recently. Well, we still, we still have indentured servitude in prison, technically. So. No. Well, yeah. It's we have. Uh, right? We have. We pay. We pay him like ten cents an hour or some like obscene shit like that, they and then like wage. corporations get like a benefit from it, and yeah, pe- people who kill people and sell drugs and stuff, they deserve a penalty, not a wage. The wages of sin is death, right? And we, I believe in capital crime deserves capital punishment. Death penalty. Yeah. So, so, and I don't think you would disagree. So isn't it funny how God can determine whether or not he's going to bring death to somebody, but you might say, well, yeah, God can determine death for people, but you're looking at them as property. Well, isn't that amazing how you don't think that these people are worthy of the capital punishment, but you're not even willing to consider what the capital crime is, that God is bringing that punishment to them in order to receive. There was the guy who was premeditating. He was going to, like, abduct children in, like, a lair in his basement and, like, sort of eat, and, like, eat them after killing them. I would say that that dude is pure evil, and I would consider the death penalty for that guy. Yeah, Other than that, like, there, it'd have to be, like, extreme ass shit where he's like premeditating where he's gonna like eat kids or something like you know some sh- obscene shit like that before I would consider like the death penalty but as a general rule I oppose the death penalty because I would just re- I mean like I do understand the idea of removing that element from society but we can just sort of put him in like a cell and be done with that in my Wait, opinion so but is that justice uh, where are you getting your sense of justice I mean, I suppose it's just in that it's not going to be a particularly stimulating life for that person. There's going to be like in a cell and then like a common area or like a mess hall and that's all they're going to see, so, you know? Can I point something out? You believe that on the basis of someone doing something that you know to be evil, even though you haven't accounted for your knowledge of evil, you know that even though they've done something evil, they deserve a punishment. And yet when you look at God, you kind of like say it in a mockingly way, oh yeah, he's going to punish the earth, but he's punishing the earth. But you're not accounting like for having evil. sex for having sex and stuff like that or not like for having, no sex is great god didn't god didn't want to punish the earth for having like sex. premarital premarital oh, sex so you're saying sex has a context yes it does that's what i'm saying See, so like people are going to get beheaded for people are going to get beheaded by god for having premarital sex they're going to get beheaded i know they're going to be judged i know that they're going to die when they're on the earth and by the way by that time it's going to be so bad dude you're not even going to want to be on the earth the eating children is going to be the least of your problems just that one, or like a few guys have tried to do, or have done that. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever hear about Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible? They, yeah, that's another example, yeah. Yeah, they ran around raping people. There was two new guys who were angels in the form of men, and they were walking, and literally the entire village, the entire city, gathered around the house and said, bring them out so that we can know them carnally. 
So wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what that is? Bring them out so yeah, we I know. can rape them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so but like you, wait, so wait, you wait. believe in angels or yeah, yeah, I do. Like supernatural beings, like yeah, wi winged beings, or like yeah, the Bible records that they have wings. Yeah. Yikes, dude! I can't really buy into that. We'll just wait till you see one. You'll believe. I'll check it out, but uh, I need oh I I need to go buy new shoes. But it was interesting talking to y'all. Yeah, nice meeting you, man. For sure, dude. See you later. Peace, bro. Subscribe, bitch.